Hi everyone. So in today's episode, we will learn about auto launch flows, how we can use them, how we can take benefits of it. So here is in Flow Builder, you can see the option auto launch flow no trigger. As it says, it launches when invoked by Apex processes, REST APIs, and more. This auto launch flow runs in the background. So basically, auto launch flows uh, does not need user interaction, but uh, it cannot launch itself. We need to launch it by uh, any other process or uh, by the help of an Apex class or REST APIs or more. With more, it means that we can call the auto launch flow with uh, the help of custom buttons and custom actions as well. So let's create our auto launch flow, and I'll tell you what is today's scenario. Here's the auto launch flow. Let's click on free form to see the elements properly. So we will calculate the discount percentage of an opportunity that will be based on the annual revenue of the related account. Okay. So what we will do is uh, we will add a calculate discount button on the opportunity record page. On that button, we will uh, launch this auto launch flow because we need something to launch the auto launch flow so we will add a calculate discount button there and when the user will click on that button the discount percentage of that opportunity will be calculated uh, based on the annual revenue of the related account okay so what we will do is first of all we will create two new resources that is opportunity id and account id uh, the resource type will be variable data type will be text and it will be available for input let's click on done the second one will be account id variable name account id data type will be text and it will be available for input as well So now you will ask from where we will uh, get these account ID and opportunity ID values. Uh, the button we will add on the opportunity record details page. From that button we will pass the ID like the account ID and the opportunity ID to this auto launch flow and then the flow will work according to these IDs. Okay. Now what we will do is we will add two get records element to get the opportunity and to get the related account. So let's uh, drag the get record to get the opportunity. Object will be opportunity and in the condition we will add id equals to our variable which is opportunity id and how many records only the first record and we want automatically stored fields so let's click on done let's connect it and let's take another get record element to get the account as well get account object will be account and in the condition we will add id that means account id equals to the account id variable that we have just created in these variables we will get the values from the button okay uh, automatically store all the fields and click on done now we have two record uh, variables in which uh, we have our opportunity and our uh, related account now what we will do is we will calculate the uh, discount percentage we will add some logic for adding the logic we will use the decision element in the logic section so let's drag it here checking the annual revenue And the api will be created so what will be the outcome the first uh, discount percentage outcome will be if the annual revenue of that particular account is more than 20 lakh okay so if the uh, annual revenue is more than 20 lakh we will give that opportunity 10 percent discount and the second condition will be if the annual revenue is more than 1 lakh but less than or equals to 5 lakh then we will give them 5 percent uh, discount okay so let's create the first example uh, the first outcome which is revenue more than 20 lakh okay and in this we will check our get record account uh, element dot annual revenue is greater than 
20 lakh okay so if this is the condition then we will apply the 10% discount other than that we will add another condition in which we will check if the annual revenue is greater than uh, 1 lakh that's the first condition so get account dot annual revenue is greater than 1 lakh and the second condition will be account dot annual revenue is less than or equals to 5 lakh okay so the second condition is this now if this condition will occur then the discount percentage will be 5 now let's click on done we have our two conditions let's connect it with the get record element first now what we will do is we will assign the discount percentage of this opportunity record based on these two conditions so for assigning the value we will take assignment element from the logic section Find ten percent discount. And here we will add because we have uh, our opportunity record in the get record element, we will directly take this and then add the discount percentage equals to we will add ten percent and let's click on done. After that, we will add one more assignment in which we will add five percent discount. Sign five percent discount, and we will type the same thing: opportunity dot discount percentage equals to five. Okay. So now we have these two assignment. Now we will connect it to the decision element. First, let's connect to the ten percent, and for ten percent, we have this outcome: revenue is more than twenty lakhs. So we will give ten percent discount. So let's click on done and for 5% we will add another condition which is revenue is greater than 1 lakh or less than equals to 5 lakh so we will give 5% discount okay. So now we have uh, distributed discount successfully. Now the last step is to update the opportunity record so for updating the record we will take the update record element. Let's say update opportunity and here we have two conditions use the IDs and all field values from a record or record collection or uh, specify the condition manually so because we have already added the discount percentage to the record variable that we already created uh, earlier the opportunity record so we don't have to specify conditions we just have to add the opportunity record here and that is it the record will be updated automatically uh, now we have to add uh, both the assignment to the update record because no matter what the discount percentage is the last step should be updating the opportunity discount okay so that is it that is uh, today's flow let's save it and activate it calculate discount percentage and let's click on activate Okay, so the flow part is done. Now what we will do is we will create a custom button on the opportunity object. So let's go to object manager and go to our object which is opportunity here. Now here you can see button links and actions. In this we will add new button or link. Let's name it calculate discount. And here in the display type, we have three options, detail page link, detail page button or list button. So we will choose the detail page button. You can check out these examples to know more about the display type. Okay. And behavior will be displayed in the new window. After that, we have content source, which should be URL because we are going to add the flow URL here. That is how we will call our flow here. Now let's go to the list of flows and in the details, we will check the URL of our flow.
so here's the flow let's go to the details page and let's copy this URL from here and paste it here okay so we have successfully added the URL of our flow to the button but now uh, what we want to do is we want to pass the parameter account ID and opportunity ID as well okay so for passing the uh, parameters what we will do is we will add the question mark sign here and then the parameter name which is account ID equals to then we will add the field from here which is this opportunity dot account ID now we want to add opportunity ID as well so we will add this and we will insert the field which is opportunity ID Oops, sorry this is the field okay now we have one more parameter I'll tell you the importance of that later so let's just save it and I'll show you what without that parameter the result will be and how we can use the parameter to improve the result okay let's save it <clears throat> now here's our button now what we will do is we will add our button to the page layout so let's go to opportunity layout and add our button we will add the button in two sections from buttons we will take the calculate discount and we will put it in custom button section after that we will go to mobile and lightning action and we will drag the button from here to lightning experience actions okay uh, now let's just quickly save it and after that we will go to opportunity detail page and we will add the button to the lightning app builder so when you want to add the button from the lightning app builder what will you do is you will go to the details of the page and press the gear icon and click the edit page button after that you will be redirected to the lightning app page builder and from here you will uh, update the lightning record page which is our detail page and uh, let's wait for it to load so these are the components that we see on our lightning uh, opportunity detail page now we want to add our button to the header section so we will click on the header and on the right side you can see in action we have all the buttons that are there now we will add a new action in which we will add our calculate or discount button here's that uh, let's click on done and here we have our calculate discount button automatically added now if you want the button to be in the top three you can drag the button from here to anywhere uh, you want but uh, if you will not add uh, the button on the top three uh, you can just click on the arrow sign and you will find your button anyways let's just add it to the top so it is easier for the customer to get let's add it here okay so now here you will see in the preview we have the calculate discount button on the top if you want uh, more buttons uh, like more than three buttons you can change the count from here otherwise let's just save it and activate it now let's go back to our opportunity details page and see if there is any calculate discount button so here you can see we have our calculate discount on this it will redirect us to the auto launch flow and the discount will be calculated now uh, first of all let's check the discount percentage it is a zero percent okay and let's go to the annual revenue of this account and check what percentage should be there so the annual revenue is 50 lakh rupees which is more than 20 lakh okay so the uh, percentage discount percentage on this uh, opportunity should be uh, 10 percent let's go here and calculate the discount to check if our flow is working fine so here you can see it says your flow is finished now i'll come back to it later let's just check if the percentage is uh, correct 
let's go to this opportunity and details and the percentage is 10% that means our flow is working fine now did you remember I was talking about another parameter which is very important that parameter we will add now uh, let's go to buttons and edit this button so now the next parameter name is red URL why this parameter is used because uh, did you see after the flow was finished after the work was done it was uh, saying the flow is finished in the blank screen okay so we don't want our flow to finish like that we want our users to uh, just see the opportunity page again with the refreshed values if you want to return your flow to the opportunity page again you will use return URL in which you will just add the opportunity ID let's add it from here and that is done let's quickly save it and check if it is working fine let's go and refresh it again and now it should redirect us back to the opportunity page with the refresh discount percentage so let's click on the calculate discount button again And it redirected us to the details page again okay so the discount of this is calculated already let's go to another opportunity and check if the second condition is working fine we have a uh, another opportunity which is Acme ins one and in this account we have the annual revenue of 4 lakh rupees I guess one minute yeah, the annual revenue is 4 lakh. That means it will come under the 5% condition. So let's just check the calculate discount button in this opportunity. Uh, let's click it. And it redirects back to the page. And on the details, the percentage is 5. Okay, so our flow is working fine. Uh, let's go to our flow once again. So this is the hot launch flow that we have created with the help of this we have added a calculate discount button on the opportunity page now uh, whenever your customer or your user uh, would want to calculate the discount for the particular opportunity they can just click on the button then this flow will run and the calculation will occur so that is how hot launch flows work uh, they launches on a button's click on a link or like through another process through apex classes through rest apis and many more that is how auto launch flows without any trigger works so that was today's example i hope you found this useful uh, i have added two conditions here of course you can add uh, many more conditions here that was it from my side i have some end notes for you as well just uh, read them and keep them in mind i'll see you super soon in the next episode till then bye bye take care and keep learning